history of Indian independence. There are several things that are revealed that are not quite known. And therefore, apart of from it being an autobiography, it also does a great deal of public service because it reveals things that are generally not known. They are hidden from the public eye. So let me quickly mention them. One of them is about independence and the partition of the country and the way it was planned and thought of much before what we normally tend to think. There is a lot around 1962, not being interested, particularly, as I said, in the army. There were several disturbing things I learned about 1962, which are quite revealing. Ditto for 71. Ditto for the Sikh riots. Ditto for the Bhopal disaster. Ditto for an instance where there was a plan for India, or some parts of the government of India, there was a plan to vacate the Siachen Glacier in exchange for a certain quid pro quo. In each of these cases, there are revelations that should disturb all of us as citizens. I'm assuming they are true. Why should they not be? Particularly since they haven't been defamation notices. And in one of these cases, the incident about the Siachen Glacier, I tried to confirm whether it was true. So it was a bit like Kurosawa's Rashomon with a different lens, but the person I asked did not deny that that incident had happened. So one part of it is that. The other part is often when one is talking about government, as a countervailing pressure, one talks about civil society and within that, the role of the media. There are several dis disturbing anecdotes and incidents about people who are fairly illustrious names in the media. And the author, before he moved on to other things, had spent some time working for media. So there are several names that you will immediately recognize. The established names in the media, their names we have read, we've read their columns. We continue to read some of their columns. Many of them are shown to have had feet of clay. So as broad trends, these are the two trends why I said this book is so very disturbing. There is a lot for anyone who's interested in wildlife, who's interested in films on wildlife. There is a lot in the book for anyone who's interested in defense, for anyone who's interested in the history of the army, the evolution of the army, the evolution and the history of the Navy. Because Shiv Kunal's Verma's life has taken interesting turns and he is not stuck to one particular career, he's moved from one thing to another thing.